Hi friends, it's Lisa here and I have free time to show you a tutorial about how do I draw in Disney tradition to celebrity style. For that I will be using iPad Pro and that's how it looks like. like and I use an Apple Pencil. I think that you can use even iPad mini with someone else for pencil like Adonite pixels and they works really well too. The app I will be drawing in is Procreate. I know that not everyone can afford Procreate so you can try Infinity Painting. I will put icon here. Uh, it is like a free copy kit for Android and iOS platforms and the Procreate looks like this. Oh, voila. <laughs> and I forgot you will need an app that's called Rumini. I use that for making quality of pictures better. It looks like this Rumini. Uh, and it's uh, free, you have 5 free trials per day. Mm, you should download it, it's free. So let's start! Today we will be turning Anna in Scarlett Johansson. I will need a picture of Anna, a pretty good picture with big resolution and I have one from my previous art. So all I do is swipe left, uh, share and save a PNG. Now let's go to Google and search for Scarlett Johansson photos. So there is a life hack how to search for good photos quicker. So go to instruments or tools, uh, then in the size you should choose big size. And now you will be looking through the pictures with only big resolution like uh, 1000 of pixels and more. Let's pick different photos of Scarlett when she is looking to the front or to the side. And now let's improve the quality of one of her photos so we can see easily every detail of her mimics. You can do the same thing to your picture of Disney character because it works uh, pretty good on 3D models too. One more photo for the video. Now go to the photo and import the photo of your character. Here we see the canvas with the picture and I will duplicate it in the case I will need the picture one more time. Now let's just insert the photo of Scarlett Johansson. By the way, the two finger tap is making undo action and three finger tap makes redo. For the reference, let's insert the photo of Scarlett Johansson and clear the edges of the photo. So the first thing I do is a change in shape of the face. So let's go to the bend button, then liquify and choose the push option. Let's take a closer look at Scarlett's face and let's notice that she has tiny chin that is smaller than her mouth and pretty big cheekbones. So now we will try to make the average look of Anna more like Scarlett, like the shape of her face, of her lips and of her eyes. One more important thing to pay attention to is the distance between nose and top lip. So let's push the nose higher. Now one more important thing is an eye inner corner and the level of bottom eyelid. It's not like the straight line, it goes upward. All you can do now is try to move it to make it look more similar to Scarlett's eyes. Now choose expand and try to make the nose bigger. And now it's time for the lips. Let's make them bigger with pushing them up. After these lips will look flat, really flat, like they have no volume at all, but we will fix it with adding some highlights, you will see. I'm duplicating the layer each 10-15 minutes because I want to make some spawn where I can come back. It's time to go to the skin, pick in smudge the wide brush. Now we have to remove the shadow between her eyebrows, you can see that it looks real weird. We are moving with a smudge from the highest point to the bottom, like from the lightest shade to the shadow to cover it. Now let's remove her bangs. Let's pick the smudge, white brush, make it bigger and move from the skin tone to the hair like the brush will cover it with the color of the skin. But you should stop at the place where the shadow starts 
because now you're moving from the shadow to the hair so it will cover it properly now it's time for my favorite brush is smooth brush so we will get rid of this uh, strange area border between shadow and light so make it bigger and softly not pressing move it around the area where the shadow was bordering So now let's remove her eyebrows with the same white brush. Try to make really smooth movements, like no pressure, you're moving the skin down to the eyebrow so it will cover it with a new layer. For the smoother skin, just pick the smooth brush and smudge it with that brush. Now repeat it with the second brow. Voila! Now we have a clear canvas for drawing new eyebrows. For that I will pick a soft liner brush. We are trying to repeat the shape of Scarlett's eyebrows. For more natural look I will pick the darkest color of her hair. After drawing you are able to adjust the eyebrow in any way you need. Don't forget to create eyebrows on your layer. Sometimes I duplicate important layers, for example, like eyebrows, because I will be too lazy to draw them one more time if I will mess up. To make your eyebrows more realistic, I will use this hairbrush. I'm just moving freely to the top and to the bottom of eyebrows to create a like, uh, smooth gradient of hair. You know, you can make anything you want to this eyebrows, you can make it more hairy, you can make it another color, anything you want. Don't forget to make experiments, make your fantasy blow out of you. It's time for the nose and with the same white brush and the shadow I picked from a cheekbone, I am creating a shadow on her nose to make it more shapey. Now let's make her eyelids. I pick three tones, highlight, mid shadow and shadow. Shadow I will use in the place when the skin is folded. And the highlights are on the highest point of the eyelids. Let's try to repeat the shape of Scarlett's nose. You notice that I'm picking shadows from the almost the same place where I'm going to draw them, so it will look naturally on this character. Now let's match that lines we draw. You see, it probably looks more like Scarlett's nose. Some fixes to her lip corners. And now one more thing that is important, sometimes the blush on the character's face uh, can make the face do not look like the celebrity's face. So with a white brush I'm moving the part of her lighter skin to the corners, so the blush will go away and the face will not more look like that round. Here is interesting moment. Sometimes characters have a uh, violet color on their left side or the right side because that is a light reflect. So for drawing cheekbones on the left, I'm picking the same violet color. Now let's recreate her dimple above the lips. I'm not sure if it's called dimple. Let's take a far away look because sometimes in clothes it looks better than in general. And it's time for her birthmark. Let's find a place where it's placed, so near the nose on the left side. I think that for birthmark the, that color from her cheekbone will look pretty well. Smudge, smudge, smudge. She looks really flat, so now let's add her shadow and light. From the left side it will be violet shadow, purple. 
and film the right side it will be the highlight of the skin color. I see some differences now and I will move her face shape one more time. That all is made with liquefier. Eyebrows are too wide, I think let's make them smaller. And now new layer for the highlight on her lips. Let's pick that color we already see, it is this one. And then smudge with the smooth brush and then let's look for a way and erase some parts that looks weird. Now let's look at her between lips line, that is darker one, and let's create the one that looks more similar, like wider and more dark. It's time to export the full image we have to liquefy it as it is now, without any other layers. And now it will be the funniest part ever, we will flip the canvas. As I can see, it's time to pull up her eyelid, bottom eyelid. I will cut it out and create a new layer, I will duplicate it and then I will liquefy it. Yes, it looks not that good, but that's all I can do now, let's move on. Let's make her cheeks. She has pretty apple cheeks and I will try to make them with shadow. As usually I'll pick the color from the cheek that is on the darker side. And now I'm using a white brush and then I will just smudge with smooth one. I think it needs more darker colors. It's time for highlighting. I am picking the lightest color on her face and with it I will draw lines in the place Scarlett has slides on. She has lights above and underneath her eyebrows, on the nose, on the nose top, under the cheekbones, on the cheekbones and on her chin, if I'm not mistaken, yes, that's chin. Some lights over the lips will make them plumper. And now just smudge, smudge the lights. Let's add some volume to the bottom eyelids. I forgot to show you that for eyelids I have switched the blend mode. And of course her eyes color. For that I'm cutting her eyes on the new layer, duplicating it and then go to the saturation and make them absolutely grayscale. Let's add some eyelashes line and eyelashes. She looks a little bit crossed eyed, so let's move her right eye. One more detail is the shadows near her eyebrow, so we will repeat it and then smudge with Gaussian blur. Time for eyelashes.
Let's make her hair more red and more dark. And now let's make something to her clothes. I think that just turning it black will be enough to recreate a black widow's costume. And it's the most difficult part to redraw the neck because the neck has sometimes really weird shadows on it. And I'm looking at it and trying to make it just by my hands as I can. I'll add some final highlights to make it more natural. I don't know. And here we are! I tried to show you guys a process that usually takes 2 or 3 hours in 15 minutes and I know it was really speeded up, but I hope you'll take some advantages out of it. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this tutorial.